what happens this morning I was doing some research and I came across an article from fadeawayworld.net. Shaquille O'Neal says players don't fear LeBron James like they did Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. And I was like, bro, I just started laughing. I'm like, I'm like, it, it, it never, it, it never ever ends, man. It must be really tough being a LeBron, a LeBron fan these days. In a segment on the big podcast, Shaquille O'Neal served up his latest hot take regarding LeBron James and his place among the all-time greats. Speaking specifically on the fear factor, Shaq explained that LeBron doesn't invoke the same kind of dread as other superstars did when it was time to play against them. I've heard players say, including myself, I feared Michael Jordan. I've heard players in Mario Chalmers' generation say they feared Kobe, said O'Neal. I never really heard any player say they fear LeBron James. Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant were notorious for their killer approach to the game, which often involved a ruthless, ruthless attack at the competition. Unlike LeBron's, LeBron, those guys were always out for blood and did not hesitate to push aside anyone in their way. If you look at LeBron, his desire to please everyone and become friends with, uh, with even his greatest basketball foes has eliminated the fear factor uh, for his own career. And it has changed the way the, uh, that opponents view uh, going against him. Of course, Shaquille O'Neal is not the only to notice this. Last year, Gilbert Arenas argued the same point as he explained why LeBron James and Nikola Jokic are different kinds of competitors than Jordan, Kobe, and Iverson. Former NFL champ uh, James Jones also argued that Dylan Brooks challenging LeBron in 2023 is the proof that players are not scared of him uh, at all all so you heard what this article had uh to say there what are my thoughts i think Shaq is saying what everyone already knew the only people that don't know this are maybe these new lebron everybody knows this this is Shaq ain't breaking no news here he is not breaking no this has been the the mo since 2006 b this is what players and fans always felt they've always felt this way Everyone knew that LeBron was an immensely talented player, but they knew that he didn't have that that kind of like dog in him that players like Jordan and Kobe and others have. It's one of the reasons you heard Carmelo Anthony say uh, he was like he was seeing dudes trying to punk LeBron. and He's like, I'm gonna come to his defense. Here's the irony. You know, LeBron is actually bigger than Carmelo Anthony. Do y'all know that LeBron is actually a bigger person than Carmelo Anthony, but Carmelo Anthony was the one coming for coming to LeBron's defense. Why? Because Jordan and those guys, man, you couldn't play with them. They'll fight you. They will fight you. I heard Kenyon Martin, who was an enforcer to some extent, when he was on the Breakfast Club and he was talking about playing against Kobe Bryant and saying he's the best player he's ever played against. And he's like, don't get it twisted. Kobe will fight you. Like Kobe would fight Kobe was nasty on the court to his opponents. And that's the way it should be. Do you know why? Because we're in competition. We're in competition. We're not out here trying to be friends. We're not out here buddy buddying it up. I'm here to embarrass you. And it's one of the reasons you saw Kobe going at LeBron the way that he did. If you look at that last All-Star game, I think, yeah, one of the last All-Star games when they played with Kobe was picking LeBron up full court in that fourth quarter. Kobe was talking all kind of crazy, you know what, to LeBron. It wasn't the first time. Because he knew LeBron would flinch. Kobe knew if he looked at LeBron and LeBron looked back at him, he would flinch. And that's what it has. It has nothing to do about with your ability to fight. It has everything to do with your intensity as a player that these guys are not going to get in your head. You couldn't get in Kobe's head. You couldn't get in Jordan's head. But you can get in LeBron's head. If you try to trash talk Kobe or trash talk Jordan, it would actually rile them up. If you trash talk LeBron, it could rattle him. That's the reason why. Go back and look at the NBA Finals in 2011. I don't know if some of you guys ever saw. Go back and look at that series. I saw every game. The level of trash that Sean Marion and these dudes were talking to LeBron was incredible. They were disrespecting him so much in that series. Go back and look at the video. The stuff they were saying to LeBron. Go look back at those videos. The disrespect because they don't fear him. And to me, I don't think Shaq is taking a diss. I think what Shaq is doing 
is saying what we all already knew. Shaq is just saying what we knew. Now, obviously, <clears throat> some LeBron fans are going to take exception to that, and I understand. But here, here's the problem. The big media has really done a bad job with its curation of LeBron's story. They've really sold you guys a bag of, a bag of lemons. They've made LeBron out to be this thing that he's not. 